Welcome back to Ocean Ridge Plantation. Staying with us is Bill Long. Bill, um, we're going to move to Tiger's Eye. I know we're not playing that golf course today, but let's talk about Tiger's Eye a little bit for our viewers before we go and play some of the other holes on, the, on some of your wonderful golf courses. Well, Tiger's Eye opened in 2000, and it's been our most award-winning golf course. Uh, it's actually been ranked by Golf Digest as one of the top 100 public courses in America for many years since its opening, so we're real proud of that. Uh, some beautiful golf holes out there. Uh, number two is one of my favorites. It's a mid-length par three, but it plays to an elevated green, so you have to take one more club than you typically would expect. And if you miss the green to the right and bail out, you're faced with an uphill, about 15-foot straight-up chip shot. So nice little golf hole there. I also like number seven, the par five. It's uh, straight away, but there's water all the way down the right-hand side and heavily treed down the left-hand side, so it's a demanding driving hole. But if you can hit a good tee shot there, you possibly can get to that green in two and uh, make a birdie. But you have to be careful. The green is very heavily surrounded by bunkers. So that's a real nice golf hole as well. And number 11, I guess you might say, is the signature hole at Tiger's Eye. It's a traditional island green par three. Uh, very similar maybe to uh, number 17, uh, TPC course in Sawgrass, but it has coquina boulders around it, one of architect Tim Cates' uh, signature features. Uh, as you stand on the tee box and look at that green out there, it's actually a little bigger than you would think, but uh, your nerves tend to make it seem a little bit smaller, but it's a beautiful golf hole as well.